Good morning vlog. It is Tuesday morning. I am feeling much better than I was on Sunday. Oh my gosh, Sunday I was so sick. I was very, I was surprised I was able to do that concert actually. But we're feeling good, we're feeling refreshed. I have the day off, I'm super excited. I'm feeling a little bit spendy and I wanna do some projects. So um, Clover and I are gonna go do some exercise at the park and then I think I just, I've, I'm feeling spendy. I wanna spend some money. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go shopping, yay! Are you ready to go? Yes, let's go. the treats. Do you want the treats? It's like, oh, Jack and Pop, that's a good brand. Oh, but it's bone. I don't think you can have that, buddy. Yeah. slash TJ Maxx and we had fun at Michael's so we're gonna do some projects today after we have lunch and relax Clover had a great time he was shopping he loved it people said hi to him he loved it the room is running I set it to um, to start running like 45 minutes ago and it's still working it takes about an hour so um, but the floor is nice and clean I love that so before I pick up my lunch I'll show you what I got from home goods and Michael's yeah so I went a little cray because I haven't shopped in a while. Um, but I was really excited to see, oh my God, and they should have given me another bag for this. Dude, 
I got a huge refill of the Bona Hardware Floor Cleaner. I love this stuff and it was almost out. I like to use it with my, um, my iRobot Brava mopping robot. So I'm gonna use that right now and I can just like, look at that. It's got a little easy refill dispenser. So I'm gonna pop this in the coat closet and I'm really, it's, it's very heavy though, but I'm very excited about this. I got another pet throw for, um, for the couch and for the bed when Clover's on the bed and he's dirty. Right now he really needs a bath, but uh, so this is gonna come in especially handy, but I love these throws. Um, they come in so handy on the bed and I just thought, why not have two? He made like the tiniest little like upset noise. What's the matter? What do you want? What do you want? What do you need? Do you need this ball? I think I know. You can get that ball. Do you want it? You want it? He's waiting for me to get it. You can get it. It's well within your reach. You can totally get it. You can get it. You can reach it. You can reach it. You just have to go to the other side. Oh, look, you jumped on top of there. There you go. Look at you. Silly boy. Okay, we're not playing though right now. I also went bin crazy. I got um, a bunch of inner design bins. Look at the color. Oh my God, so cute, right? It's gonna go with this stuff. This is um, Clover's like food and treat, oh boy. I got a few of these um, treat and food containers for Clover because his food container actually cracked and it's broken, so I'm gonna replace them. And um, the treat drawer is stressing me out again, so we're gonna reorganize that guy. And I got a little bit of something for Clover's food area. This is gonna have his little name on it. It's gonna cover those ugly cords. I got three more bins for another project I'm doing. Uh, it's gonna be freezer organization. I don't know if these are gonna work out, but whichever bins work out, we're gonna keep, and whatever ones don't work out, we're gonna just return them. I got the cutest planner in the world. Look, there's like a little clover right here. Oh my gosh, how cute is this planner? I love this and I'm obsessed. This only costs $5, so I'm thrilled. Another bin, you know, we're binning it. Cute water bowl for Clover's area. Since he eats out of a special, like, slow food bowl, I didn't buy him one of those double ones. I just got a single one, but I thought it looked really elegant, you know? Because Clover's a really elegant dog. Isn't that right, buddy? I don't know how he feels about it, though. I think he might be afraid of bags, though. He's kind of he's kind of a scaredy cat when it comes to paper, to paper bags. Right, buddy? Okay, I'll, I'll put him away, and that way you can explore the stuff without the paper bags being in your way, okay? Okay. Okay, so it's almost five o'clock. We've been chilling. Well, I haven't really been chilling. Clover's been chilling. I've been doing chores. I've been doing the, the last of my laundry. Um, a little bit of dusting, a little bit of cleaning, but enjoying it, not putting it on video. Um, Cause you know, your girl loves to clean. I'm sorry, I, I love to clean on my days off. I'm like, oh yeah, I get to clean. Cause I'm crazy. Um, but I did a little project over in Clover's um, food corner and I think it's really cute, I'll show it to you. Ta-da! Look at how cute it is now. So I unplugged a couple of things and I plugged them into another uh, area. There's the Roomba was plugged under there and the Brava, since it's so skinny and sits upright, I moved it here. <laughs> Actually, this should probably not be on top of it. 
the bra just sits right there and I can grab it like with my hand like really easily and take it out. Um, I did grab it and use it and I plugged them all into like that there. Now that doesn't look super cute, but you know what? It's fine. So look at his little area, isn't that so cute? He still had to have this little slow feeder bowl because they had those like double feeders that were like this, which I thought were so cute, but I'm just using the one for the water here and he still got his little Bon Appetit um, thing that I got from Marshalls, which is super cute. But I got this little um, chalkboard from, where'd I go? Michael's. <laughs> and it's on a command hook and it's hiding both a ding in the wall and uh, and the, the outlet here. So um, it looks so much cuter now and I adore it. And it's gonna be so cute when Clover eats here. I, I've written on it with a chalkboard marker this is the marker I used. I wrote on it with this and you can erase it um, with like a little bit of water and write on it again. I wrote, I wrote on it like <laughs> maybe 10 times because I wanted to get it right. It still doesn't look as nice as I want it to look but I think it's really cute. Super cute little food area for clover. And of course hung with a clear command hook so it doesn't look super messy. It looks really cute I think. And now we've got these, these things that I, feel I need to put away. I need to peel the stickers. Uh, give them a good wipe down and put them in this drawer. This is Clover's drawer, which I've organized on camera, I think twice. Um, but it, it, it gets kind of messed up often. So Clover's here because when I open the store, he knows it's good stuff. So this is what it looks like right now. Not the best, right? It's awful. <laughs> Actually, this is an empty bag. This is an empty bag of bully sticks. So we're subscribed to bully sticks. So hopefully they should be coming again soon. But he's got treats in this one. And this is a bit tall for this drawer. Um, you can't close the door with it in there. And I had this because his stuff used to be in that cabinet up there and it was a little taller. But this drawer is a lot, it's a lot easier and like he knows stuff is in here too. So I'm going to transfer this stuff um, to one of those and I think it'll be a lot easier. And the ones I can't put in those, I'll have to figure something out. Yes. So I guess I'm going to get on this. And you'll be right here watching me. Yes, you will. matching containers clover is like just he's like why are you doing this to me you're torturing me i already gave you a couple of little treats okay so in this first one is his food so i put um one third of a cup per day am and pm um that means you know one cup 
in the morning and night, but we know that. I just put that on there because I thought it was fun. And I wrote on here somewhere, <laughs> where did I write it? Oh, Clover's Food, with this marker again. This marker, I wrote on that with this marker. I'll put a link down below so you guys can pick it up. I got mine at the container store, but I think you can get these like a lot of different places, including Amazon. So uh, go down in the description if you wanna pick this up. And in here, I labeled this chews because these are all of his like chew things. There's like um, what we call like the little uh, no hide, raw hide bones. There's some bully sticks. There is a uh, cow trachea. There's a little cheese bone. So those are all of his little chews. And in here I put noms, cause it's all of his little like nom nom treats that are not necessarily chews, they're just like little treats. So that goes there. And there's a couple of bags here in case he goes to the sitter. So I put his food in the, in the bag so he can um, have his dinner at the sitters. And here's his like sort of leftover treat stuff that doesn't fit in there. So this guy with big cow trachea here. This, um, this, what is this? He really likes this. It's a tendon, I think. It's like barbecue tendon. He like, he's like, loves this. Um, got some bacon biscuits back there, some beef bites. Um, so all of his little like treaties in this little container. And in this one, I put his um, scoop for his food and uh, leftover Kongs and his little, his, <laughs> his little snood. If you guys have not seen this on, you're about to, you're about to smile. He's a little giraffe. So the snood, <laughs> snood is if he eats something really um, messy and he gets his ears all up in it and they get really disgusting, that's gonna prevent his ears from getting gross. Sometimes when he eats those chew things, his ears get all up in it and it's disgusting. So those are his, uh, that's his snood. It's a giraffe. Clover, have I humiliated you sufficiently? Yes? Okay, I'll take it off. <laughs> oh no. Wait a minute. Uh, oh no. Let's go get that stuff. Oh my gosh, look at the, I just wonder what happened to the cling wrap. I thought we used it all, but no, it's back there. And I don't know what else is back there, but I'm gonna find out. Okay, I found the oldest cling wrap in the world. I mean, I mean, I guess there's a little more left on it. <laughs> okay, sure. And uh, I guess that fell back there. Oh, a small piece of parchment paper, paper which I'm just gonna put in the recycling. Hello. And also, a cotton bag for making cheese. This is not something that I have purchased. I believe this is a husband purchase. Uh, I don't know if he had planned on making cheese, but I'm going to text him a picture of this and be like, <laughs> and be like you want to make some cheese tonight? It's going to be fun. <laughs> so, um, sure. Great. I'm glad I found that stuff because that was probably making the drawer not close all the way or close nicely. So that was fun. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really do anything. It was closing well to begin with, but I love his new drawer. I think it's so cute now. Clover, you're so spoiled. You are. Is this the thumbnail? Let's take a picture, okay? Sit. Yes, good boy. Oh, good boy. You want a treat? Okay, let me give you some of the noms. Some of the noms. You want a chicken? Piece of chicken? There you go. So we've had this for like two years and it's broken. Look, there's a piece of tape on it on one side and I think there's a piece of tape on the other side. It just cracked, so this didn't last. It was cute though. This other one, I think I'm just gonna donate it. It was, we've had this since he was a puppy, so we, it's, it's, it's done its job for us. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed our relaxing day off. I'm going to organize the freezer and that'll be in probably a later video. Um, if you guys like this kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. I publish three times a week and I do have videos on home organizing and home cleaning inspiration to help you lead a happy, more organized, functional home. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Bye, stay neat. So